Hey guys, Renan Lopez here, and on this video, we will talk about the simplest way to deploy application using Hero. So you just push anything on your master branch and automatically will deploy your application, and this using the Heroku platform. Stay tuned. We're gonna talk about Heroku deployment um, using Next. Um, it's a React um, framework. We need to have Node and NPM, um, so you can just download it on the Node website and install it. And we will create a ap new application using the Create Next app. So our focus won't be actually Next or React in that sense. Will be to create a simple new application and deploy it using uh, Heroku. Um, so for now, we will copy this command and we will start creating our application. We use um, deployment, deployment next Heroku as the name of the app. Okay, now we have everything installed, so we can go just CD um, and go to our deployment next Heroku. And inside here, we can um, run yarn dev, and we just um, launch our application. Um, and then you can just X um, localhost 3000 and you see the application running perfectly. Okay, um, to, I will just create one new uh, page just to show routing and um, show it working. Okay, so you just create an about page. I like to create at least one routing. So I will create a functional component here. And um, here I will create an h1 called about so um, here uh, on the index I need to I will just change removing this here I will keep the class so I keep these styles and I will just say a link and inside of this link I put all of it and here we say href it's equal to slash about and next we identify that because of this component link so we need to import this from next library so link from next slash link and then um, everything should work fine so let me go to the application here i just change examples to be about so about simple about page okay and here we go um, when you click it you go to the about page without reloading the application so um, the routing is everything working fine so now we have our application uh, up and running so now we need to deploy on Heroku to do that I will first create um, a repository on github okay let me go there I go to github.com and I'll put slash new and here I will use um, deployment um, next um, Heroku and I will say a public um, I will put a node ignore and um, I will create the repository Okay, now I have my repository. Um, I will get the actually here. Now actually, uh, I already have my git ignore here from the Actually, we need to use git init. Now we need to add the remote. Okay, so git remote add origin, um, and then I will paste the git rub um, repo. Let like success this, and then here. So now we add the remote, we just git add dot, so I add all the files, so git commit, I will put init uh, project, and I will say git push, push origin master, and I will say force. Okay, now we have our project on GitHub, okay? So if you access GitHub, you have all the files here. So let's create our Heroku application. I will create a new one, create a new app. I will call deployment, deployment, and next, and Heroku. So now we created the app, we can connect it to our GitHub. 
so I will say the repo name here it's deploy deployment next um, Heroku and I can search for it and it show me projects that's actually connected so I will say um, enable um, automatic deploy and we can the deploy branch now but we still need to do some changes before we do that okay so we need to go back um, to to our application and we go to our packet JSON and here we need to add in the script Heroku post post build. So after build the instance, the Heroku post build will be um, called. On Heroku post build, we will say I want to run this command npm run build. So we build our application basically after the instance is created. And then on the start script, we need to change to add the port. So we say um, next start port and um, we say port because Heroku already will set up this variable for us. So now we already have here the application set settled. So we just let's send this to GitHub, um, git commit and I will say, um, let's say Heroku config. Then I will git push origin master, okay? And after we finish uh, to push our changes GitHub, now we can just deploy branch. And we will say here it's all the logs. Okay, now our application are deployed, so we can go here and go view, and then you can access the application. It's up and running on Heroku. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I will uh, give the, on the description below the link for the GitHub so you can access the code.